when is that going to change and why do you have these views on that? First of all, I have to say I'm really kind of amazed that my activities as an undergraduate, which were actually in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, are being discussed. Well, it's in writing. Uh, the good news about it, I'll tell you, is that I was there uh, and Mother Jones was not. Uh, here's what I mean. When I began to become a successful author in the 90s, many, many years after I went to Dartmouth, left-wing groups on the campus created, I would call it, an urban legend history of the Dartmouth Review. Looking back at what we supposedly did, and basically fabricating stuff, and handing it out, and relying on Chinese whispers on the left <laughs> to preserve these legends. So for example, none of them can name any students that were named in the review. You'll notice that this is all just, this is what he allegedly did. I didn't do it. I've never been to a, G, it was then called a GSA. Never been to their meeting, never taken any of their files. At one point we wrote an article on college funding for the Gay Students Association, and in that article we mentioned the four officers who had applied for college funding, and we noted that in their application they, were, they had not described any intellectual activities, where we were basically using the money for parties. So the, the, the thrust of the article was, College fees go to fund intellectual and cultural groups. They don't go to fund, basically, beer kegs. They don't go to fund recreational activity. And the question was, why is the college doing this? Now, you can agree or disagree, but the point I'm trying to make is the Mother Jones recapitulation, 30 years old, there is no actual resemblance to the facts. So I'm happy to defend what I said. And quite frankly, you know, I've done some sophomoric things when I was in college, my main defense. I was, at that time, indeed a sophomore. Um, but I don't want to be held accountable for things I didn't do. Okay, but so you're, 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 you were misunderstood, and, and you have the, they, they have the facts wrong. Will you now give a full-throated endorsement of queer rights? Well, I don't know what a full-throated endorsement of queer rights means. Just say it. Means. Say it loudly. Uh, and... <laughs> I mean, I'm going to stop. French intellectuals as people as who would trust men who carry handbags. So I hear this. <laughs> 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 so again, that wasn't when you were at Dartmouth. But nevertheless, I think the young man has a question. The question is, can you now say queer rights, gay, lesbian, transgender rights are fundamental to your view of what freedom would look like today in America? I'm a firm believer that we are all in this country a minority of one. I don't believe in racial rights. I don't believe in rights to the crew to groups. I believe that as individuals, we have all the rights that we're entitled to under the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. <laughs>